Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into a game changer for researchers, uh, academics, and anyone who loves decoding complex information um, in any research field. So imagine having an AI assistant that helps you break down your research papers, generate insights, and simplify even the most challenging concepts all in one particular place. So in this video, I will show you how to get started with SciSpace AI, or walk you through its incredible features and demonstrate how it can mix, it makes exploring knowledge smarter and even easier than ever before. So just get ready to transform how you research and learn your papers. So let's get started. To start, you can start by accessing SciSpace. And right now, they are on typeset.io you can type set size space or you can go to google and just go with size space and this is what we are going to have until 2025 they are now typeset.io so once you're here you have two things to look at this is where you search you can get insights into your papers whatever you have you can come to the left here you have the option to chat with your pdf document directly you can bring in your paper and you can chat with it you can have literature review conducted an ai writer find topics on your own if you are a phd or a master's or even an undergrad student looking out to find topics for your research you can do that directly from here you have the paraphrase something similar to that of um killbot that you can use to paraphrase contents directly and you have citation generator you can just copy the link or copy the link to the paper or journal paper and just paste in and it's going to give you the citation of any type maybe upper sixth or vancouver or any other one you have ai detector that can help you to detect what kind of um uh, content you have whether it is fully written by ai or the about and then you have the pdf to video conversion you can convert your pdfs to video directly now before we go deep into this let's start with the most basic you can see them all of the features from here but the most basic is to start by installing the google chrome uh, add-on for the size space so you can access it once you come down here you can see google chrome you can add to your chrome or you can see it over here this is the chrome extension that you can easily click uh, to add to your chrome browser so you can have it by your side wherever or whenever you have um, a content that you want to analyze so you can go ahead and say add to chrome and this is going to directly add the extension to your chrome browser all right so let's um, go ahead and open and um, register with one of my accounts maybe google account just continue so you can see right now um, it's been added account connected you can always come over here um, we can click this you're able to see size space and you can pin it to the top okay you see you've pinned it to the top and you can see this sign over here this is size space at any given point you can just click on it and it's just going to um kick start okay so let's continue and let me show you the power of this size space so assuming we are on this um uh, journal paper site okay this is a paper about storm water management and uh, we can just easily um refresh it so you can see the size space sign over here once you click on this it's going to um enable you to have a chat or a conversation directly with this paper that you're working on and you can see the, uh, the the tabs are now on and you can see, you can see what the purpose was the key takeaways from this paper. Uh, these are some little um, advice or guide that it can give you on what and what to to ask or biases or limitations, evidence, examples um, used in this paper. You can easily directly search uh, by using this very tool. And alternatively, you can come down here and look at suggested uh, questions that you can interact with your paper appropriately. You can see what is the purpose of this web page, or summarize the content of this web page, or what are the key takeaways from this web page. Now, this is a journal paper, so we can just go ahead and just ask a simple question um, What is this paper about? What is this paper all about? So you're going to be one that marveled by what kind of chat is going to generate. This is very, very direct. You can see the paper reviews the impact of green stormwater infrastructure on ecosystem services, such as water quality and, and flood control. You can see everything in detail, and you can see it has given you um, responses where it picked all of this information. 
Now, this is the basic as it comes to searching or chatting with the PDF. Now, it can be very specific as regards something. For example, you can go come down here and say, um, ask you to explain something. For example, let's say um, the discussions that made your findings. Okay, let's say, can you give me, can you give me five major findings from this paper? Right, so let's see. It's going to be very, very direct and very, very fast. You can see is that the main five major findings from this research paper. Most research on green storm water infrastructure is conducted at the parcel scale, suggesting a need for studies at larger uh, scales to understand broader impacts. So these are direct uh, findings from this particular paper that you've charted with. You can go to the literature review, and this is going to have you ask questions directly regarding the content or how does climate change? These are, try uh, asking or searching for these questions. These are a little bit related to this, but this is just for your own uh, literature review if you want to conduct more lit or literature review directly. So this is basic. You can do that on uh, a journal paper or you can do that on, on, on a blog post as well. So let's say this is a blog post about the 10 tips for improving your public speaking skills. You can come over here or you can see the size space. And of course, you can ask, you can chat with it directly. You can ask certain questions from this page. What is it and what we can. Can you summarize this? So you can just give to summarize the page and it's going to summarize it directly and very fantastically. As you can see in summary, this is what it has. Overcoming fear, engaging openings, um, connecting with your audience. Um, Non-verbal communications and strong conclusions are very, very vital to uh, public speaking tips so you can see you can go ahead these are four sources that it has that is highlighted in the in the conversation you can follow up message you can copy you can share directly um, this to any platform of your choice for example you can share it on twitter or you can share it on, on other um, you can copy and share on other platforms as well if you're interested and that's, that's the most basic can, let's go back to the um, initial stage where we have everything and now let's start with another basic thing. Let's refresh this because you've already logged in. All right, so you have the option to start a chat with a PDF. You can do that within the platform as well. You can click and then you can import the PDF. No matter how many PDFs, you can import them and you can have a chat with them directly. So let's say I have some PDFs located here. Let's say I've got this. Uh, let me select one of them. Okay, so let's go with this and then we're going to have um, some conversations with it. Okay, so you now have to add this paper to a collection of papers that you have. Let's say um, I'm going to add this to a new collection and I'm going to call that collection storm motor management, right? And I say done and this paper is going there directly. So that means you can add multiple papers and you can have conversations with them at the same time okay so you can to directly be relating with those papers using the um size space um ai tool so this is the paper the coupled hydrological and hydrodynamic mo hydrodynamic model for flood simulation so this paper you can just go ahead and start chatting with it you can ask questions generally from this or you can highlight stuff and and ask the 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 ai to explain so for example you can highlight this section and once you highlight, you can say explain this, explain this context or summarize this context or get related papers to this or highlight some things from this or save to pressure drop analysis um, section or you can select a notebook and save this content directly on. So let's say we have something simple. Let's say we, um, so let's say I highlight this simple paragraph. And I say, explain the text. Okay, so this text selected, it's going to explain to me um, directly. So you can see how fantastic this is. Keep understanding flood simulation and zone classification. So what is 2D, what is a 2D shallow flow model and design flow events and so on. You can see when you follow through this, you can have a clear understanding of what and what this particular concept is trying to explain to you. Very, very easy and very direct. Okay, so in addition to text analysis and enhancement or um, giving you results, it can al also equally snip and take a screenshot of mathematical expressions 
and give you explanations of what they mean. So let's try with that. And you can see the option over here. You can click on this and let's just go ahead and snip, take a snip of this. So you can just on your own, take a snip of this. And once you release your hand, it's going to, of course, going to give you an analysis of what these equations are and what they stand for. Very easy and very fantastic. And you can see right now, it says detailed explanation of the mathematical nutrition in flood modeling. This particular image that we've just inserted, you can see the details and you can see the sub. Understanding the symbols, uh, it started with the symbols, then the vector, and then the vector G, the vector S, and then the conclusion and so on. It has given you the detailed explanation of what each one of them stands and what you can understand from using uh, this, these equations. So in addition to using size space in this form, you can as well go to the library. You can have, in addition to chatting with PDF, you can have a summary of this content, uh, of this content, for example, this uh, journal paper. You can have a summary of it, everything in summary, and you can easily on your own convert it into your podcast if you're interested. Yeah, if it's something that interests you, you can convert it into a podcast or something related. Okay, so this is the summary of the entire journal paper from the introduction to hydraulic and hydro hydrological zones, the full 2D hydrodynamic model, uh, hydrological model, uh, the coupling methods, up to the conclusion what you should expect from the paper and even decide whether the paper is worth reading or not at all. So another thing that is very interesting with this um, AI tool is the library. You can always refer to my library and you can um, couple up different kind of content or sources to this. Like you can upload more than one um, PDF document. You can also click to import others. Okay, you right click. Uh, let's say I add this and once you click, it is just going to be added to this. Let's say I'm adding it to this same um, collection. I'll so upload one file. So this is um, going to upload in the same um, um, library. So we have more than one paper. And you can see in each in each case, you have it summarized, um, something about the paper. And you can easily save this simple summary to the notebook. You can add it to, to the notebook if you're interested. Or you can generate, create or add columns that you can have. This is the first column, um, too long. And then you can add columns on summarized abstract. For example, you can have a column on the summarized abstract from this particular paper or from all the papers that you've generated or you've added. You can see this is for the first paper and this is for the second paper. You can go ahead and keep adding, create new column, adding conclusions or adding results or summarizing the methods used in this particular paper. So they are about. And if you're interested, you can save this to a notebook. You can click to save to a notebook. And this is going to be added to your notebook. We can see my first notebook. You can see this is the content that you've just um, uh, summarized. Okay. So you can see, uh, you can give it a title if you're interested. So for example, um, Storm 1. All right. So this now becomes part of it. And you can change the notebook name. You can change it and uh, maybe you make it Stormata Management. All right, so this is uh, very, very interesting. And you can see the citations that's added. You can come down here and see the source directly where it picked it from. So you can add as many things as you want. You can add conclusions. Like I said, you can add feature research, research gap directly by, by picking on papers. All right, so you can continue to explore different things. You can create, add columns for any of the sections that we've talked about here. And one of the good, good things about size space is that you can control the style of the references that you're going to get for your journal papers or for your write-ups. For example, this is the upper seventh point format. You can click on this to check and the, you can have different types of styles depending on what your school or what your, your paper is recommending. So you can just go ahead and use it directly. So you can choose any of them um, directly. Now you can go ahead and do many other things like you can chat with PDF of explain, you can do literature review, you can do AI writer. Uh, one of the things that I want to highlight here is the use of the citation generator, which is equally very, very important. You can click on this and with the citation generator, all you need is just to copy the link. Okay, cite using title or URL. If you have a title of a, uh, of a document, 
you can just paste it in here and it's going to generate the reference for you directly in any format of your choice so let's say for example we are going with this paper okay so i copied it and then let's get back to size space and let's say i paste the paper here you can see this is the um the citation okay you can just click um and click and we will to see the citation over here this is the details of the paper and this is the paper being cited and you can see this is the format it has given you can you can of course change the format if you're interested um, but then um, you can always copy this and then this is the in-text citation how it is going to be cited within the text you can equally um, um, add that as well so you can add this you can select you can select this particular one and then you can export the in, if you are using latex you can export the references also down download you can download it easily you can download from here as well as bib text or you can edit reference or copy the reference and take it somewhere else so these are some of the key things that you can always work with if you have the ai detector you can extract data from any given document for example you can add a pdf and you can extract data you can do semantic search extract and compare information citation backed insights you can do all of these you can get summaries conclusions findings from multiple pdfs in in a table form okay so this is going to be in tabular form if you're interested in getting all this so this is very interesting and useful when you are doing literature review especially so you can be able to change to to get the things done easily now you have the AI detector. This one enables you to detect a particular um, PDF document, whether it contains some AI content, AI generated content or will be about. You can be able to know from some of these models which one is actually used to generate. So all you need is just to upload the document and you can see analyze and it's going to give you the analysis of whether it's been used, uh, it's been generated from AI or not. So this is very, very fantastic. So the best advice is for you to go on and try on your own, try to see how you can make use of this platform, register with your email, and then see how, which and which ways, in which ways you can make it useful to yourself. Okay, so just go ahead, experience it, and report your findings in the comment section. If you have any questions on how to use it for your own research or how to enhance your research, after all this we can we can easily make longer videos if needed so i think this concludes the basics about the use of SciSpace for research on literature review or literature search and management um, in any research paper writing or academic writing hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next one